Good day, everyone. It's 1.14 p.m. Today is Thursday the 1st. We have a disclosure here. There is a risk in the future trading. As I said yesterday in the video, we are expecting a very good run today, and we did. We got it. Uh, uh, from last week, we had a beautiful run, uh, a lot of movement. Uh, we have a lot of traders made a lot of money. Then on Friday, we showed on a video uh, that the market was just topped on Friday. Then on Monday, we had chop, and then we have uh, all those news came out. And uh, yesterday on my previous video, I said today we're going to have a good run, and we did have a good run. A connection, Ninja Trader Broker, absolutely, and it is 115. Get it out of the way. Uh, I want to cover today <clears throat> if you first, if you look at the uh, control, uh, we have the YM, and uh, this is the YM. We are still on that trade, and it is a five minutes, a real time chart, a real uh, time frame. Um, and then if we are looking at the uh, uh, this chart, uh, we start when uh, we start the DAX in the morning, early morning. We had one trade, one losing trade. And then we had one small losing trade. And we took off with that trade from 1040 nonstop. And we still on that trade. And it is beautiful. Uh, some of the, let me get this one out of the way. Uh, also, because of uh, a lot of uh, news uh, in the in the Europe, uh, again we did it on the DAX. Uh, I want to cover some of those DAX today. For the guys, they have the proper uh, amount, and we will show also uh, for the guys they have a lower account what they can do. Uh, today on the 244 ticks we had one trade today and it was at uh, at uh, 651 and we were done with that trade around 823 Eastern time and it was done 7900 on the uh, thousand volume here we had a trade at 739 and we were done at 951, 11,000 euro. On the one minute, which is my favorite, is irrelevant which one makes more money. I like stability in the market, and we had one almost a break even. And then we took the trade at 554. We were done at 730. I want to take this one here. The three minutes chart. We had one almost break even. And then we took that trade at 657. And we were done at 951, 11,000 euro on one trade. For the guys have the right amount, they can afford to trade the DAX. For the guys do not have enough beef in the account, please. The DAX moves very fast, and that maybe is not a good idea to start with the DAX. This is another one. We took the first trade at 7.29. We were done at 9.31, 12,260 euro. You have a slippage and commission, then that's mean uh, you walked away with a 12,000 euro. And on and on and on. Uh, what I wanna cover today, the NASDAQ all hit targets, YM all hit targets. Uh, uh, I wanna show, uh, to continue for the guys are um, are not aware how the market moves or they are expecting the market to move every day for them. This is a very serious business trade in the futures. This is not gonna happen. 
if this market moving again and again and again I will say that if this market moving we are making money if this market not moving for the guy owns the auto trade does not mean he is a market mover what he does he owns an auto trade he rent the YM he has no inventory or he rent the DAX or he rent the Nasdaq he has no inventory to move the market I wish I can move the market for you I cannot do that so on a day like today when the market is moving you will have enough beef to cover for the rest of the week whether the run was on Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday management is the most important it's not the numbers because some days you will be making more money than some other days but the most important how we can manage and this is my problem with a lot of amateur trading they don't understand that they think by staying in the market longer then they can make more money you could be making more money or you can be losing more money the whole idea I want to today show for a guy on a three four thousand dollar and those are the most noises coming in from uh, I'm gonna show you uh, a little small uh, platform on ninja trader a little setup for you that will give you an idea how to do some live trading and absolutely uh, you see sometimes on a YouTube a guy taking an auto trade on an ES with the two three contracts a DAX two three contracts I understand that but if you do not have enough B for that and the ES didn't do well today that can cause a problem if you can if your account cannot handle losses so let me I did some small video today for those guys on a smaller amount how and how they need to start with their three four thousand dollar and you cannot do any more aggressive this is a life trading what we are looking at on the right hand side is the YM one minute and the Nasdaq one minute and this is a life trade that's why the dome are in white and then if we are looking on the left corner here we will see uh, the you will see the dome is in a blue and uh, uh, the charts are in white those are on a sim and you can see from the chart trader those are on a sim and on the right hand side it is the life trading this is the way you need to set up your auto trade especially in a swing trading and as an example if we look down on those trades we had almost let me go back with that trade I need to see that trade uh, the first trade was on the Nasdaq if we look on that trade on the Nasdaq I'm gonna stop that video if we look that trade on the Nasdaq the first trade on the Nasdaq which we can see at this moment today at 952 the Nasdaq was jumping for the guys are real trading with a life account today they have seen how the Nasdaq was jumping not the guy on a sim if we look at the entry between the live trading and the demo day the, the entry was 936 25 uh, enter the market on a sim on the live order through your broker ninja trader broker it was 936 so we were one tick cheaper than the sim the sim was 936.25 we exit at 33.25 where the sim exit at 33.75 the second entry was 31.25 and this one here was 31.25 is exactly to the same tick we entered the market then the market did took the other direction very good we exit on the sim at 940 and then we exit on the uh, life uh, market with your ninja trader at 3975 so there is one tick in the slippage and this is a very important in the swing trading we can afford that slippage you do not have to have um, a web uh, or, or or a server because we can afford it however if we are looking at the YM 
the YM was a bit slower than the Nasdaq. If you look at the dome uh, with the Nasdaq is jumping where on the on the on the YM is not. So we entered the market at uh, uh, 26035 and we entered the market live trade at 26035 and there was no slippage and that's why you see both of the amount is precisely the same this is a setup for the guy have a three four thousand dollar that swing trade and believe me or not the guy on the cl is not making more money than you are don't jump and dance with a gorilla if you cannot afford to dance with him. Don't jump on the DAX if you cannot afford the losses on the DAX. Uh, if the DAX goes in the wrong side, that can be easily 1,000 euro losses. So you have to be careful. You have to always remember uh, that you have to prepare for a, a bad day. So if we are if you can catch the trend if you can catch the trend on the ym on one trade and can make you three four five hundred six hundred some traders last week made two thousand dollar on the nasdaq by one trade because they catch the trend so the guy on the cl he's not doing better than you are if this market moving we are making money if this market not moving and you do not see any money coming in by 10 30 11 o'clock you need to call it off whether you get your feeling hurt or you are getting frustrated everybody get frustrated in the market but you we cannot move the market for you if by 10 30 11 o'clock you don't see bread on the table you need to stop and that it is one of the rules in, in, in the trading because it could be it's going to be the same all day long and that can cause serious damage or it might break out in the afternoon and start going smooth. But this is part of the trade and I don't understand how guys uh, they want it to be green every day. This is not going to happen guys, not with that auto trade and not with any auto trade out there. Even the bankers where they have a bunch of IT people sitting on the other room adjusting the auto trades out of a 300 trades they do have around 100 150 losing trades so that is not going to happen most of the trading is is uh, a losing with the automated trading uh, lack of management and a lack of reading the market so as an example what we saw in the live trade on the ym how and why I decided to take the YM today and some other market by let's look at the YM the one minute this is earlier today doing the Globex look here it was a really nasty place a nasty area and it was one line so the auto trade did not make is the same YM it is the same strategy the same setting you have just have seen that video on the live trade so when the market was straight, there is nothing to trade. And then later on, when this market start moving today, immediately at 8 to 12, took a trade and closed at 9.30. And you can see within the minute this, this market moved, we nailed 1,000 bucks out of it. So it is again and again, again to the amateur trading. Those are the ones making a lot of noises. If this market is not moving, that auto trade is not going to make you money. Once this auto trade moves, it will make money. If you are looking for an auto trade can make money every second and every hour and every day, this is, is a wrong auto trade for you. I am very sure there is somebody there will tell you he has it. But let's see. So the reality is again again i wanted to make sure i know i'm repeating myself i apologize for that but for some reason when we're trying to explain how to auto trade a lot of people brush me off and they think 
uh, no, this cannot be. Yes, it is, and you will find a hard way after you lose your hard money. You will find a hard way that there is nothing called green all the time. And that is uh, the story. So today we have seen the movement, and as I said in the previous video, that we can run this uh, those auto trades one hour before the markets open and then we can immediately make a decision if we wanted to trade or not on that one here or we want to choose a ym or a nasdaq for a guy has a limited resource then you cannot go wrong by taking one ym your favorite time frame and one nasdaq one of them is gonna maybe um gonna bump into uh, volatility or some kind of chop uh, uh, time and then at least the other one will take off and will cover the other one but this is a good start if you start nasdaq nym and don't think the guy on the es is doing better and don't think the guy on the cl is doing uh, better because if this market moving you will be making as much money as this guy has been sitting and trading the CL for 20 years. Trust me on that one. And uh, I don't want to go through all of them because all of them did very well. Let's take uh, the NASDAQ one minute just for... This is the NASDAQ today and we had a, a run around 8 to 28 and took it made 980 but you can see earlier today it was not much movement and that is a lot of a trade for swing trading i don't like too much trade on it but we had a very small uh, losses but then at the end of the day let's say you have around 80 dollars between takes uh, between slippage and and commission you still can walk away on the nasdaq with around $900 and this is a very affordable what I want to try to cover today is the other swing trade and we have this is the other automated trading this is a different system than the other uh, one we have on this one here you have the market analyzer it tells you the direction it tells you the entry tells you the safe entry, tell you the trailing stop, telling you the trailing stop too. So practically you don't have to think and then you can automate it uh, uh, ATM or fully automated or you can use your own ATM. They all fire the same signal. They all fire the same signal and they all have the same target. It's just how you want it to trade that market. So let's take uh, as an example the ES. This is uh, your ES, and we can see we have a trade at an entry at 2820. If we look at the market analyzer on the top, you can see the entry price right there, and it says 28. 28.50 that's true this is the entry price it does it by itself you don't have to do any calculation or a clicking anywhere the market if this market moving you have a very high target if this market is flat today the target will be somewhere else it depends on the market movement so those targets are not fixed price again they are not fixed price it's based on the market movement if we look at the trend and stop is 20 now we just have the gold hit the target let's jump right away on the gold uh, the gold just hit the target so we have an entry on the gold at uh, uh, 1342 where is the co uh, the here is the gold and it is 45.9. Oh no, sorry. It is 42 level. This is the safe entry. The entry price was at 42 level. And here's a 42 level. 
And then if you have the training stops, those training stops are fibs. Uh, minor support and major support, those are fib lines. So your training stop on one uh, on the gold is 46.1 right now. Right there, this is your minor. And then your second one, it is 45.7. Uh, and this is your 45.7. And if we notice, your target was at uh, 1347 and this is your 1447 this one here made 58 ticks and now once we hit the target there is nothing we need to look at anymore we don't need to go long or short but why the safe entry here if we notice the safe entry is between the two support line most of the time when the target hit it goes back to the support level and immediately a trader because he don't have to use his motion neither he has to have an experience is everything plotted for him and then immediately you will have an entry and you know where is your entry because it's been calculated so this is your entry and this is your stop loss below that trailing stop the fib line most of the time this target after it hits goes back and it gets filled somewhere around that area but if this market broke that level here then we are looking for a new signal this is a very easy way for the guy doesn't want to think he can auto trade it or manual trade it which i personally still like uh, to be in charge with my charts i don't have to be at the mercy of um, any auto trade um, i like to to know what the auto trade is doing. I'm not just looking at the numbers. I like to watch the market. How is it going? So let's look another one today. We have the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ made 176. Let's look at it and see what's going on. We had an entry today at uh, 69.24. Here is your entry at 69.24. Your target was a 96. And then if we notice here how this market, look at this guys, how this market came in exactly to the support line. And now this is the last stop for this NASDAQ. And then after that, it is this over for the long. There is nothing in this business 100% absolutely there is nothing in this business 100 percent but uh for again for the guy has the right amount of money those are a reasonable futures where most of the traders trade the es nasdaq ym 30-year treasury bond cl and a gold if we are looking at this one here at any given time only when the signals change, then the numbers get lower because, you know, now we are on a new signal. But at any given time, you have over 100 tick at any given time. This market analyzer is based on one contract and it is based on one minute. So for the guy who has the money, he can take one EIS, one NASDAQ, one YM, one 30-year treasury bond, one CL, one gold. And he can take it manual trade or an auto trade. And then once he sees his 100 tick, he can flatten everything out. And now he is not worrying about the EIS if he's going to uh, take that new signal or not. Or the NASDAQ didn't make it today because this guy is looking at the total number which is 100 tick at the moment we have a 300 ticks in a profit on those uh, six seven uh, instruments and the guy if he is on a hundred tick he will be if we notice right now we got the new signal on the nasdaq and because it broke all those levels now the nasdaq is getting on a new signal and if we notice now the signal the target is a total different number of takes than when it was long before it was extremely high because the market was moving and right now 
we are on a sell trade and then you have the target at the 54 level however if this market decide to pull back where is gonna go ahead and pull back it's gonna pull back in those area here where is a heavy support or heavy resistance and this is where also uh, this is one of the clever ideas that one guy can take one trade right there as a sell entry and if this market uh, took that trade and kept going is very fine if it's not is a very easy stand going on a two contract he can make another one sell order right there so he will average somewhere in between so if you are trying to follow uh, this look at this I'm gonna stay on this one here so if you wanted to take the trade from the signal is a very uh, good you can do it by right click or you can use the auto trade doesn't matter if this uh, target went back I can go ahead and load one more contract so it is a very important to take one contract on the way on the new signal and take one right there so now you have two because most likely if this market pull and back this is where the market is gonna rebound from and then I will put you my two stop losses above this line because if this market going and able and able to break all those levels that's mean we have a new signal and if we notice right now also uh, for me I can see there is a those your $35 zone there is a very nice support right there so I don't want it to be on the target that's why I like this little touch beside uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the auto trade because the auto trade you can fear it to say okay five ticks below or five ticks after the target you can do that to an auto trade and I can show you uh, you can do that on the auto trade but this is not the idea the idea is sometimes a human interfering uh, can uh, can uh, uh, can really uh, today I was with a, a gentleman today um, his name David and we were watching his CL on his chart on the CL his daily target was uh, 400 I'm sorry his daily target was 500 and it happened to be the CL uh, was done at 4 97 he was missing three dollars to hit the target and I told him I chat with him I said look now those three dollars is gonna make a problem and it did the CL took another trade and we were three dollars away to hit the 500 and then it took a losing trade and now we are down to 285 so from five hundred dollars shining away three dollars to hit the target which in cases like this the uh, human interfering and stopping or pose that auto trade because it's irrelevant those three dollars but by by staying on that trade that made us uh, uh, get in trouble so as an example on this one here you can feed it to the auto trade is a very easy what you can do to an auto trade uh, those are your auto trade you can whether it's an ATM or an ATM strategy or they're all on the same signal right there but what you can say also on them uh, the stop loss uh, then you can use the trend stop or you can say you want it above or below uh, those target and you can uh, make it uh, also you have uh, you can say if you want it to be a few ticks before the stop loss or uh, the target if you wanted five takes uh, below or after anyway if we notice this one here now that entry on the Nasdaq right in front of you I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna keep that uh, 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 video a little bit longer once we hit the target does not mean you will just finish and hit the target if you are a closing position from your uh, signal entry this is a very good potential to reverse the market so 
is not to just, and you can do that manually. On the auto trade, you cannot do that. Now we are going to hit and close that new signal entry, which on that signal entry, right now we can look up. We already made 100. Uh, 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 we made 32 takes, and I'm going to show you the efficiency. I apologize, I'm going to stay. On those, I do. Once I hit the target, I don't just say enough. I reverse this market immediately because once this target hit, that means there is a good potential reversal. It could go farther down, a couple of three takes. I'm not, I cannot aim it to the take. Uh, could go three or four or five takes. But once this market hit the target, there is nothing left. And in the meantime, while we are watching this, let's look at the others. Once they hit the target, it was a potential reversal. If we look on the ES right now, this is a new signal on the ES. Look, I'm going to go ahead and I put a buy order. So after you enter the market and you close the position in the market, this is an open door for you to go ahead and, and reverse the market. And you can do it manually because you are not calculating anything. The system is calculating everything for you. Okay, let's look at the CL. We can see on the CL, like what I was covering before, Look where it is right now at the safe entry. So there is nothing right now here. Let's look at the YM target hit on the YM because this is a new. Look at this, guys. This is a new. Let's look at the NASDAQ one more time. We enter the market. We have a very strong hold here. And Let's look at the 30-year Treasury bond. The Treasury bond missed the target by a few takes. We're not going to take it. The gold, way above. We don't want it anymore. The gold is too late. So I'm going to stop on this one here. And I'm going to stop the video. Uh, for five minutes, and then uh, we will see what happened. I don't need even to stop the video. Now, if you look, the efficiency on that trade, and uh, once the market hit the target right in front of you guys, we had an entry signal, we entered the market, and then when it hit the market, the target, we just reverse it. You close an open position, and now it is going up. So for that system, you can use an auto trade. But if you wanted to to be somewhere in this life with the trading, this is a little bit stress free for you. Uh, you just follow the signal and get used to the signal. Nobody is telling you to learn price action. You can automate it. But also it is nice to learn what's going on in the market. And now we are on a reversal. There we go. <laughs> I took the the ES without even looking at that chart. There we go. We are on a $75 on that trade. And it do, do, doesn't need a brilliant guy to reverse the market at the target. You don't need to be genius. You don't need even an, an auto trade to do that. If we notice this market here hit the target by one take, and now we are earning $75. Where is this market? I will go ahead and says here sell entry i can immediately spot where i need to close my position right there if i don't want to be greedy so you hammer the market on the way down until you get the target and then if you want it to be more aggressive especially for an aggressive trader if you have two two short trade to the downside i will take one more the opposite direction to see it might work or not so uh, the same thing apply uh, for the Forex and the same thing apply uh, for the stocks. It is actually 
I wish today we have a little uh, mixed uh, market in the stocks, but that's okay. Actually, I wish uh, that my traders, you can use the swing trading on that chart so you can learn a little bit about the market while you're looking at it and it's not costing you anything. I apologize, folks. Uh, it took a long time today with that uh, video and uh, I hope uh, that uh, can help uh, traders. Uh, and uh, um, I hope tomorrow also it will be a very good day. Uh, God bless you all and uh, wish you a very, very pleasant evening. And uh, be careful on Friday tomorrow. If you wanted to start trading, you need to start a bit early or later on, like what we covered last week on the Friday videos. Thank you and bye for now.